wrong internet. We're having a little bit of issue tonight getting the sound to the right side. Um, we live out in the middle of nowhere. So if you're seeing this, we run two different internet companies. One is for uploads, one's for downloads and for watching playbacks, things like that, making sure that we can see your feeds and things like that when you're talking to us. So if you're seeing us and you're wondering why I'm laughing, it's because we're getting started a hair late and we're connected to the wrong internet. So hopefully we'll get everything fixed really quick. We may go down for a second, then we'll be right back. Hopefully, quickly. That's fine. Alrighty guys, so if you're out there watching, hopefully everybody's starting to log on. We're connecting to several different online streaming companies. That way everybody can watch from different places. And Facebook is always our last one to get up. So we're gonna give everybody a chance to get connected. Um, looks like we're connecting to YouTube now, connecting to a couple of others, and then we will get over to Facebook. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight and I have a large bowl of oysters to open just because we need to open some oysters and that would be really fun. Um, lots of changes coming up on the site. Some seriously gorgeous new jewelry from a designer coming uh, that's completely not pearl related for those of you who are not interested in pearls at all. Um, we have some incredible jewelry coming and I'm so excited that we are an affiliate of that company now. Um, I also want to show off some pendants that don't get very much attention. Uh, we talk about the cage pendants all the time. You guys see us wearing them constantly, especially like this gorgeous cylinder pendant. But I've got some beautiful drill pendants tonight that I want to show off. They have been around almost as long as our business has, and they just don't get the attention that they deserve because they're all very, very pretty pendants. Um, so we're going to talk about quite a few things. want to make sure everybody gets connected. Looks like we're almost there. I think Facebook is still the last to load up. Give everybody a chance to get on. Those of you who entered our drawing for May or our contest for May by commenting on our post, we did announce our winners a little bit ago. There were three of them. And those that didn't win, you guys also got a message. So check your messages in your Facebook folder. Um, we sent you guys a coupon code just as a thank you and our, to show our appreciation for you guys helping us out by telling us what you're looking for in future things. Um, and then those of you who won, I've got one of you that wants us to open an Oyster Online Live tonight. So we're going to go ahead and get that one as our first Oyster up. Just making sure we get everybody online because I don't want to say that we're going to open that Oyster and then we're not hooked up with Facebook yet. So I'm going to give tech support just another minute to get us all logged in everywhere, including Facebook, because I don't want Nikki to miss out on opening that oyster. Um, gosh, this bowl, I didn't even count how many oysters are in there. I'm just so excited about oysters this week. So excited about all the pendants and especially the new designer jewelry. And I apologize for not being here last week, guys. It kind of got a little bumpy, I heard. Um, I have not actually watched the playback, so I'm gonna take the words that I'm hearing from people that it's a little bumpy. Um, I do have a day job and unfortunately last week I got to work on my night that we normally do our video and it was kind of short notice so I couldn't, you know, kind of get anything done in advance for the guys that did the video. So those of you that watched last week, the gentleman that was on the video, that is my tech support guy that's also my husband. And the person running tech support last week is my oldest son. So it did kind of get a little bumpy. Both of them are not used to doing what they did last week. Um, my husband's not a camera person, so he was a little awkward and uncomfortable. I think he did okay, though. And then my oldest son, he's not used to doing all the Facebook stuff and, and the live feed and the commenting and all that stuff. So anyway, it looks like we are up everywhere. So those of you watching Facebook, welcome. We've been up a couple minutes everywhere else. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The very first thing I want to do, though, is for Nikki Marie. Uh, she was one of our winners earlier today for the month of May giveaway, and she has already selected what she wants, and we're going to go ahead and open her oyster for her uh, pendant that she had chosen. She's chosen one of these beautiful cylinder pendants, and so we're going to open an oyster. I do believe I read in the messages that she's hoping for lavender or purple, so this is the very first oyster out of the bowl. Um, you guys can't really see my bowl tonight, and I just noticed that in all the camera feeds, but you cannot see how big this gigantic bowl is full of oysters. So I'm going to hold it up to you guys just so you can see it. There is a pile of oysters in here tonight, so we're going to be opening oysters for a little while. Hope you guys have not a lot of plans for the evening. Try to get it where you guys can see it. 
especially once we do our camera swap. I'm going to rearrange my table just a tad bit there. Once we get the camera swap going, because camera two is working tonight, yay! Everybody likes camera two because you can actually see the pearls up close instead of me having to hold them like up into the camera. Anyway, so this is the first one, the very first one. It was just chosen at random. Um, this one is for Nikki Marie, and we're going to go ahead and get that one opened right away. We will open a few others tonight, but I'm going to talk about a few things in between them um, just for the sake of getting some of that stuff out of the way. This oyster is stubborn. All right, so Nikki Marie, this is our first one, and I'm going to ask my camera guy to swap cameras for me. It opened really ugly, so I'm going to show you right off the bat me getting to your pearl. And I can already see it's a beautiful, beautiful, shiny one. Look at that lavender. Wow, just what you were looking for, a beautiful, silvery lavender. And... I thought I felt somebody else. There is a second one in there. Two of them. What a great, great oyster to start off our night. Both of them a beautiful lavender color for Nikki Marie. And since she got one of those gorgeous, gorgeous uh, cylinder pendants, this gets her started on her collection. Get them dried off and get them up in there for you. They are just a tad different in color. One is a little more rose. One is definitely a little more silver. They are beautiful, though. I'll show them off to the camera really quick. It's kind of hard to see them because they blend kind of into that white black salt combination. Might try them over in the black salt really quick. We'll measure them up for you too. The first one of your twins, it's a little off round in shape, so I'm going to try to find a centralized number that is a 7.14. You can kind of see that real rosy purple color now that I'm holding it up in the camera with the black in the background. We'll put that guy in that black salt and maybe we'll see him better. And the second one of the two, this one feels like it might be a bit bigger. It is quite a bit bigger. On the smallest side, it's a little off round in shape as well, so I'm going to try to find a good midpoint. It is a 7.39. Beautiful, beautiful set of twins. Definitely not quite the same size and a little bit off in color as far as if you were to try to make earrings out of them. They would definitely look good in the silver cylinder pendant that you were looking at. What a gorgeous pair of twins. Beautiful, beautiful. What a great way to start the night, guys. Those are both really bright, really shiny. The one has definitely got a lot more depth to its shine than the first one. All right, we're going to set those off to the side. That way they go home to their right owner. And I'm set that bowl out of the way for just a second, guys. So, we had lots of big hints for announcements coming up this week. We're going to start off really quick with some of those. Don't forget, the rest of the winners have been announced on our Facebook page. So, in addition to Nikki Marie, who we just opened that beautiful oyster for, we've also got two other winners. Um, make sure you check out that Facebook page. And then, of course, even if you weren't one of those three major winners, we sent a coupon code out to the rest of you guys. That way you guys can save on some stuff if you're interested in picking anything up. Now, that being said, Let's get on to one of our next big announcements. So I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Peter Stone. Peter Stone is an artist. He's also a jewelry designer. Um, those of you in the horse world might recognize some of his beautiful horse statues. Uh, he does a lot of Arabian horses, things like that. They're just gorgeous. But he also does an amazing line of jewelry. He does them in oceans. He does them in animals. He does them in all sorts of different things. And we're super excited to have worked with them to get them to allow us to sell our, their jewelry on our website. So we do have a sample order coming in the next couple weeks to hopefully show off some beautiful ocean related jewelry because this is Ocean Surprises. We wanna start off with the ocean related Peter Stone jewelry, but they do have such a variety of things that we can definitely expand outward on that. You'll also notice that when you're looking at our website over the next few weeks, as that Peter Stone jewelry starts coming in, we are going to start moving around some of the other jewelry. So you're going to see the pearl pendants, things like that, start moving into new categories, that type of thing. Now, that being said, I've got some pendants I want to show off tonight. The first one, somebody had asked in our contest last month about a four-leaf clover. And we do have a four-leaf clover. It's not something that I'm particularly fascinated by because it doesn't show off the pearl very well. 
And if you look, you can see it. It's a beautiful little four leaf clover. However, as silver and gorgeous and shiny as it is, it's very hard to tell that there's still actually a pearl inside that one. That is the back side of that clover, and there's definitely a beautiful, bright, gorgeous emerald green pearl hiding in there. But the way that is engraved, it's very hard to see that that pearl is hiding underneath those leaves. So let me see if I can get it up closer for you guys to look. Doesn't want to zoom there. Let's try it on a dish. So as you can see, it really doesn't want to show off the pearl inside it, but there is a four leaf clover available. It should go live on the website this week. It just arrived today. So I wanted to try to get it up there as quickly as possible. Um, since somebody did ask for a four leaf clover, we we'll try to get them as close as we can so you can see it. Again, you really have a hard time seeing the gorgeous pearl inside. And I tried really hard to pick a nice, dark, bright green pearl for you to, to see in there. But it's just not showing up very well. But for those of you who want a nice four leaf clover to show off a pearl, that one, it's there. It's just not one that you're going to see the pearl through the front very well. The next one I want to show off is probably one of my favorite of the drilled pendants. And that is the gorgeous little mermaid that we have. And here she is holding up. Let me put that in some salt so you can see her too. She holds her pearl straight up in the air. Really pretty little mermaid. She doesn't get the attention she deserves. She's gorgeous with any color pearl. I really like her with this lavender one myself. But uh, she's very, very pretty little mermaid. Just doesn't get the attention she deserves. Again, because she's not a cage pendant, nobody really seems to pay attention to the little drill guys. But some of these are actually some of the prettiest pendants we carry and uh, are actually some of my favorites. The next one is probably by far my favorite pendant we carry of everything in the entire pearl line. And that is the gorgeous, gorgeous Stingray. This guy is a substantial pendant. He's nice, he's large, he's heavy. He hugs that little pearl right there up in his, his tentacles at the front. He's a gorgeous pendant, and again, he's just not getting the attention he deserves because the cage pendants always seem to outweigh them. You know, and I would say that's probably because once you mount the drilled pendant or the drilled pearl onto the pendant, that's a permanent pearl. It doesn't go away. You can't swap it out with other pearls. Um, and, and maybe that's why they're not getting the attention I feel they deserve. But these are gorgeous necklaces, and it doesn't really matter if you can't change it out. If you've got the right pearl on there, who cares? It's gorgeous. This stingray, I wear it quite often to work. It gets a lot of attention. Next up, for those who like uh, Japanese culture or koi fish or even just fish in general, this cute little koi, kind of like a goldfish, he's wrapped around and it's really hard to see because the color doesn't want to shine on that one very well. Let's try moving him to the other salt because he's got a lighter pearl. And I will apologize in advance. These guys are not permanently mounted. We've got the pearls on them just for tonight for you guys to see them. And this one just popped off because we didn't permanently put it on there yet. But there we go. That shows them off much, much better. He wraps right around that gorgeous pearl. He's particularly really cool with that orange color pearl. It just seems to fit his goldfish koi type characteristics. It really, really shows off that beautiful peach pearl. Again, these beautiful pennants just aren't getting the attention that they deserve, so we want to make sure that uh, we're showing them off to you guys. Last up on the table is probably one of the most playful looking ones, and that is the sea lion. And it doesn't show up very well in the salt there, so we'll swatch him, swatch him, <laughs> swatch, what a great word, swap him over to this other dish. You can see he's really cool, his little tail flippers wrap right around that that big pearl right there at the top. And this particular pearl is kind of a chocolatey brown, black, bronze color. Very, very pretty pearl for him to wrap around, but he would, again, look great with any pearl that we carry, any color pearl that would come out of an oyster, he would look really cool with. Particularly like the blues, he'd look really pretty with those. Or the blacks with like the blue tones, that type of stuff. So again, those are all the pendants that I really wanted to show off tonight. Um, just because they don't get nearly enough attention. Those who were here with us a couple weeks ago, my last feed that I did, 
when we were opening oysters, we came across one that was super cool on the shell. And I kept it and I kind of preserved it a little bit so that we could show it off for future use. This is that shell. And if you look, those two big black squigglies are actually called blister pearls. And that is something that this oyster particularly naturally just did on its own. When it was developing the pearl on the inside, something had irritated the inside of its shell as well. And so it decided to start coating over that as well as making its pearl. And so it made these beautiful blister pearls on the inside of a shell. They are attached to the shell so they don't come off. But you can see the amazing different colors inside his shell. His normal nacre is actually really pretty iridescent white. But these blister pearls are a gorgeous, gorgeous dark gray, um, almost mermaid in color because there's very, very unique colors that reflect off of it. There's purples and greens. Just beautiful, beautiful shell. So for those of you who ever wondered about the way oysters form pearls, these guys or any of the freshwater clams, any kind of mollusk at all that forms pearls, and even the ones that aren't even known to make pearls can make pearls. What happens is an irritant gets inside their body, inside their shell, and they start layering this nacre, the inside, the mother of pearl, over that irritant, and they keep adding layers and layers and layers until it eventually forms a small round pearl or an oval pearl or you know odd shaped pearls or like these guys little blister pearls just depending on the shape of the item that is irritating them and they can do that naturally or we can help them out in farming um, where they actually place an irritant inside the shell so that it helps start that process faster than waiting for an irritant to naturally occur in the shell so your cultured pearls which all of the pearls we have here are are just something where man has put that irritant in the shell instead of waiting for nature to do that. They're still real pearls. They're still created by a mollusk. It's just we've helped them get a start on it instead of waiting for nature to do something like this. So anyway, just a really cool shell. Thought I'd use that as our little science lesson of the night. So you can kind of see as I move it around all the crazy colors that are on it. Very, very cool. All right. Without much more for our announcements. The only other big announcement I have is uh, our development staff and our, our tech team is currently working on a program that for anybody out there who's a nonprofit organization looking to do some kind of fundraising, we are working on an affiliate program so that you can use our website to sell our products and you get a percentage of the sales as a donation to you guys. Um, that's still in development. There's a lot of uh, a lot of processes that go into putting that together. But if you're a nonprofit, a church group, a school club, you know, as long as you're a nonprofit, if you're interested in doing any sort of fundraising, things like that, get a hold of us by PM, and I'll make sure the tech guys are the ones that are answering that for you, so that we can get that started if you're interested. That is the last of my big giant announcements tonight. Don't forget to watch for the Peter Stone jewelry in the near future. If you've never looked at Peter Stone jewelry, it's simple. Just go to Peter Stone's website. You can look at all the beautiful jewelry he's, he has to offer. The Dive Silver, D-I-V-E Silver, is all ocean-related, aquatic-themed, and that's what we're going to be starting off with is bringing some of those uh, beautiful pendants and earrings, um, potentially even rings, into our jewelry line, things like that. Speaking of rings, I totally forgot. I am wearing this gorgeous, gorgeous ring. It is completely adjustable. So for those of you who have larger fingers or smaller fingers, the silver is soft and flexible. So you can actually open it up. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Um, that way, anybody who's looking for a pearl ring, this is something I'm currently testing out to see how durable it is and how well it holds up to things like everyday use, things like the glue holding up on the pearls now that they're mounted. These are drilled on there and they are glued on there. So those pearls are permanently on that ring. But if that's something you guys are interested in, it may be something we're gonna offer in the future as long as it holds up to my quality control checks. This particular ring with either two pearls or uh, maybe a couple of oysters is probably gonna retail for about $59.99. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous ring. It does get quite a bit thinner on the underside. So those of you who like rings that are not uncomfortable or bulky, um, it looks kind of big on the top, but it's extremely thin on the bottom. Still durable, but thin, so that it's comfortable. I Honestly, I forget I'm wearing it, and I've only had it on for a little while. So 
that's something we're working on. I know we've promised you other jewelry in the future. We've been working on trying to get a really nice set of earrings with the pearls, really nice rings with the pearls. Um, then again, those Peter Stone lines are also going to have earrings, rings, things like that, that we can be offering you that won't have pearls if you're not interested in pearls. Anyway, all of those wonderful, beautiful announcements are done. We are going to go ahead and start opening some incredible oysters. Get everybody out of the way so that we are ready to just go. Can't reply to Periscope right now because it's not working. Those of you who are watching us on Periscope, tech support just said we're having a hard time replying to you guys. It's having issues working with the reply function. So if you're messaging on Periscope, we will uh, get those replies back to you just as soon as possible. Alrighty, guys. No more further ado. Fun with oysters. Everybody wants that part, right? So I'm going to try to open them where you guys can see them. Try to keep all of my handy tools right here handy so that you're not wondering if I'm swapping things off the camera. I want you to see it from the start to the finish. Alrighty, guys. So here's our first one tonight. Ooh, it's really, really wet. Oh, hey, look. Oh, what a gorgeous purple pearl, guys. Beautiful purple pearl. It is a single. Get them all cleaned up. Bright, beautiful, beautiful purple pearl. And my ability to see what's going on on my camera has kind of disappeared. I'm sure you want to know how big this is. It's not super huge, but it's not super tiny either. It's a 6.74. Beautiful purple, guys. I know a lot of you guys really like that purple color. This one's a nice dark, dark orchid. It's got a beautiful kind of a green sheen to it in spots. Really, really pretty pearl. And all these fun oysters were opening at this point, not counting Nikki's from earlier. Uh, all the purple, all the pearls that we're going to be opening from this point, our oysters we're opening from this point, are all going to get added to the loose pearls. So tonight, if you guys see something that you really, really absolutely have to have, give us a message. I will not be putting them into the loose pearl group immediately. I'll try to keep them in order that we open them. So if you guys want one that you saw from tonight, very specifically from tonight, make sure you message us and uh, we'll try to get that to you, that specific pearl, as long as nobody else beats you to it. Wow, guys, a huge, gorgeous, gorgeously huge light yellow. It's probably one of our first first light yellows and I say light yellow it's actually a very very bright um, almost a lemony yellow beautiful pearl and very very big look at that beautiful big yellow pearl 7.76 guys that is a big one for us beautiful yellow that's a phenomenal color bring that right up into the camera check that out look how bright yellow that is Gorgeous, gorgeous pearl. How fun. That would look really pretty in a lot of those flower type pendants. Sunshiny and spring like, or even sunshiny and summer like, because I guess now we're in meteorological summer already, guys. I don't know about you guys, it's still kind of springy here. A little bit on the warm side, though. My day job has me out in the sun, so I'm looking a little bit red. I apologize in advance. All right, so this is our next one up. It didn't open where I can get inside it very well, but I can feel this pearl. I feel like I'm mashing around a lot of gross. Hey, look at that. A beautiful silver one, guys. Look at all my grossness on my fingers. Ooh, look at Look how gross. <laughs> all right, let's get rid of the gross guy and get this guy cleaned up for you guys. Really pretty bright silver. What a fun set so far, guys. We had a set of beautiful lavender twins for Nikki Marie. And out of the random guys, we've had that bright, bright purple. We've had the bright yellow. Now we have this gorgeous, gorgeous bright silver. 7.19. Look at how bright silver that is. It almost looks white because the camera is uh, not sure how to focus on its color. But I promise you, it is definitely a gorgeous silver. Gorgeous. Uh, looks a lot just looking a lot like the color of my truck. It's so random. Come on, guys. Hopefully, it'll focus on you. 
It just doesn't want to. I like that purple one better, I guess. It really just doesn't know how to handle that silver in that kind of lighting. Let's see if it'll do it better on that second dish of salt. There we go. We, you can see him in there. He's silver. There's the focus. Yay! I like it when the cameras decide to cooperate, right? All right, so we've got that gorgeous light yellow. We've got a gorgeous silver. We've got the purple on the dark salt from before. Let's see what other colors we've got in the bowl. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up because it is kind of messy. One of these days I'm gonna to learn to tie my hair back too. Got it down in the towel where it's getting all gross. Hey guys, another set of twins. This set of twins is a little more rosy pink. Definitely not as uh, lavender-y, is that even a word, as, uh, as the ones Nikki Marie got. Matter of fact, I might even just compare them side by side to her twins, just so you can see the difference. Those are the ones from Nikki Marie. And these are the new twins that we just opened. You can see the difference in the color. These are definitely more pink. You see the lavender in the front. Those are the ones that go to Nikki Marie. And then those more pink ones in the back. They're not quite as pink as that camera's trying to make them appear. They're a little bit more peachy rose. But look how pretty they are. Great set of twins. All right, I'm going to put Nikki Marie's again off to the side. Nikki, I just like playing with your pearls. That's all it is. All right, so the first ones in the twins that were the rosy ones. Almost a seven. It's six point nine nine. Get it where it's not glaring on you. And the second one. It's a seven eleven. These guys are really close in color, just a hair different in size. They would make a very large set of earrings. Not sure that I would use them for earrings, but very pretty set of twins, guys. Really pretty. I like that color a lot. Super shiny too. All right. There are a lot of oysters in the bowl, so I hope you guys don't mind me watching, or mind watching me open all these oysters. I feel like I missed out last week, so we got to open extras. Hey guys, look at that one. I don't know if you can see it. Bring it up close to the camera. Look at that bright, gorgeous blue one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that is a single. Huge. It is a big blue one for us guys. We don't normally get blues quite that big. And it's definitely a good sized one. Let me get them in here for you. For a blue, that is a big one. 738. Look at how gorgeous that is with that black background. What a pretty, pretty pearl, guys. Super, super pretty pearl. That would look amazing in the mermaid cage. I think I've got one sitting around here. Actually, I do have one sitting around here. She's sitting and wearing a really cool purpley blue. Purple blue looks so pretty with her. That blue one would look gorgeous with her. All right, next up. Playing with my green screen behind me. And I'm in such a goofy mood, guys. I should really show you just how much fun the green screen really is. Uh, as soon as my tech guy decides to go back around to the computer. This one is a black pearl. Beautiful black. While I clean this off, I'm going to have him switch over to the green screen cam. And... I know a lot of the other girls out there that open pearls and things like open oysters and things like that, they keep their cup on the table and they're always drinking and stuff. And it's cool and it's fun, you know, because talking like this, you guys get thirsty really quick. But I drink Diet Mountain Dew. And you can see what happens on a green screen with a Diet Mountain Dew bottle. Um, yeah, you can see right through me, guys. You can see through my face. You can see through my shirt. You can see through my hair. So yeah, that's why I don't drink in camera in front of you guys, is you guys would be missing my body parts. Anyway, back to our other camera. 
just the fun of green screens. It was one of those things we didn't think very clearly about when we first decided, let's use a green screen. This little black guy, who is super shiny, has got a lot of different coloring to him. I've seen other people call these an oil slick, only because it looks like what happens when oil gets on a black top with water underneath, it kind of has that multicolored shine to it. Um, anyway, 7.13, beautiful, beautiful black one. And we'll get him down in that dark salt and bring him up close for you. You can see the gorgeous, gorgeous green tones to that. It's this one right here. Come on, camera. We know you want to focus. There we go. Look at those gorgeous tones on the outside of that. Beautiful, beautiful pearl. Super pretty. The overtones on that are just pretty in general. Sometimes you look at this one and it's kind of bronzy. It's kind of green. Doesn't quite know what color this shine wants to be on it, but it's gorgeous. That one would be really pretty on that drilled stingray. Or on a ring like that one. We just ha would have to find it something to go with it. Alrighty, next up is another set of twins, guys. This is a set of twin blacks. And they are very different. For a pair of blacks, they are definitely very, very different. A little bit cloudy because they're dirty. All right, so the first one is more of like a chromey teal. The teal is very obvious on one side, so I'm gonna show that side to you. The other side is more chrome. And I say teal, it's just kind of a hint of a teal with more chrome. Uh, 7.10 on that one. Try to find a good spot to put it. We've got a lot of oysters to open. This other one is very, very much a green overtone. Very different than his, his twin. 6.97. But his overtones are definitely more green. Let me get these two up there side by side for you. Everybody balance, everybody stay still. All right, so you can see those twins side by side there. If it would focus. There we go. You can see the one is definitely more silver than the other. And it's not showing you the greens on that other one very well, but I promise you it's there. It's trying to reflect off of uh, all the other lighting in the room. But I promise you that the one back here in the back is the one that has more green. Alrighty, next one up, because we've got quite a few. I'm so excited. These things, it's like going under the Christmas tree Christmas morning. You never know what's underneath there, and you get so excited about seeing it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Look at that pearl. Check that out. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous blue violet. These blue violet pearls are some of my favorites. They're such a deep, rich, almost an indigo purple. It's really hard to describe them and hopefully that camera will catch the color very well. Super shiny, very pretty. It is on the smaller side. compared to the rest of them, 6.43, but look at the color with the black in the background right there. Just look at that gorgeous, gorgeous blue-violet color. I'll put them on that black salt. Try to get it up there where you can see them. Look at that beautiful purple color. And compared to that other one from before, see how red that one is? Much more red color than this one here. This one's definitely got a more blue tone. And again, for whatever reason, getting it up in the camera, it's just not showing off the color tones very well, but I promise you that one has got a gorgeous, gorgeous blue tone. Might so far, that one might be my favorite of the night. Even though he's smaller, just those blue violets are just stunning. Alrighty, next up, oh my goodness, it just popped right out. Look at that guy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, dark, dark hunter green. See it? 
I know it's still kind of dirty. Let's get it cleaned off for you. It is a single. Super, super pretty hunter green. Wow, guys, this one is a gorgeous pearl. I'm not a huge fan of green, but this would make me one really quick, guys, because it is gorgeous. The amount of green on that is just beautiful. 6.90. It's really hard to get the green colors to show up tonight. I don't know why. But that is gorgeous. We put him in next to that blue violet that we just pulled out. See that gorgeous, gorgeous green color? Wow, guys, look at how bright green that is. And that's the one we pulled out earlier that was kind of a, a different black color, almost an oil slick, remember? Look at how bright green that other one is right next to it there. Gorgeous, gorgeous pearl. He would look really pretty in like the sea turtle or uh, even the mermaid. The greens look really pretty with the mermaid. Would look really cool in the tree frog. The tree frog would be a, a great one for that one. Alrighty, next up. And I feel like I should probably be telling you guys how to open these oysters again. Um, just because I know all those winners are going to be picking things and they're going to get oysters and such. Alright guys, this one, I, yep. I thought it felt like there was two in there. Again, it's a set of black twins that are completely different in color. Let me get that camera to swap back for us. I don't know why we're swapped funny. There we go. Can you see the two different colors on that one? The one closest to my hand over here is more green. And the one closest to you guys is definitely a more black blue color. You can definitely see the color difference on those two and the big gross oyster. All right, let's get them cleaned off and measured. Wow, guys, we've had lots of twins tonight so far. We've had the ones for Nikki Marie, and then we've had those gorgeous pinks. And this is our second set of black twins. This is the one, the first one up is going to be the one with more green. 6.98. Try to get it over where you can see it. I keep forgetting that the other little camera sits up in that corner. And the other one that's a little more blue. These guys are almost close in size, but definitely different in color. 6.90. they are you can definitely see that color difference that one is definitely more green see another great set of twins guys look at all these dark pearls on this bowl how cool are they they're very pretty those would make a great set of pearls to all be in a cylinder pendant you know the various shades of black and just showing how different dark pearls can be from each other Right, this guy is super cool, and I hope he's got something super cool inside because his outside is super cool. I try not to drip all over the table. Look at how much seaweed is growing on this guy. He's awesome. He's like he's got a forest. He's got all this stuff on this side, and then on the back side, he's got an even bigger one. I love these guys with all this seaweed. This gives him character. This one is a huge oyster. Alrighty guys, and in there is another dark one. Wow, we have had a lot of dark pearls tonight. This one has got a unique color. I'm gonna have to clean them off to quite figure it out. It's definitely a single. I feel like I've been rolling in the same spot, so now I've got a wet spot on the towel. All right, well, color-wise, this is another one of those that I would call like an oil slick or maybe kind of a mermaid. Uh, it's got a, a lot of green on one side, but when you flip it over, it's very blue. Uh, definitely a unique pearl. 
going to kind of hold it up where one of the random mixes is. It's a 7-Eleven. I think we had another one earlier that was 7-Eleven too. Put that guy up there. Hopefully we won't not run out of room in the black salt. It's this guy right here. If I roll it around, you can see he's kind of bluish purple on one side. And then on the other side, he is definitely more green. Kind of hard to get it to show off tonight. Super cool. I feel like the light dish is definitely kind of slacking tonight. We've got all these beautiful dark pearls and not very many light ones. I don't know. We still got quite a few oysters to go, though. Alrighty. Nothing on that side. There we go. There's another light one. Check him out. Rolling around there. Looks like a silver. Get him all cleaned off. Definitely a silver. These silvers are really pretty. And since all of our jewelry is silver, it would look good in anything we offer. This one's definitely a pretty little silver. It's got a little bit more shine to it too. Like the, the quality of the luster on that one is a lot better than the first one. 6.92. We get him side by side-ish with that other silver. So you can see the the unique shine compared to the first one. There we go. So there's our really super shiny one and there's our first one from earlier. You can definitely see the shine. All right, guys. I'm trying to hurry. We've got nine left. We're making our way through. It's another big one. <laughs> and it decided to just pop open for me. So now I get to root around in the gross looking for the next one. There it is. That is a really big one, guys. I don't know if you saw it pop up there. That one in particular kind of smelled bad. Periscope smelled bad. Not sure why, guys. If you're watching on Periscope, we're still having issues with the comments. Just doesn't want to let us reply to you guys. So we see you. We see your comments. We're just not able to reply to them. This one is a big whopper, guys. It's a really, really pale, kind of a pink color. Very, very pale peachy pink, maybe. 7.63, though. Look at how big that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous pearl. I'll stick that over there by that really big yellow so you can see the yellow versus that light peach. Really pretty set, guys. Even those light pearls would look great together in the cylinder or maybe even one of the horses where it holds two of those big guys. This one's a little bit smaller. It's also a darker colored oyster. Again, we all know size doesn't mean anything when it comes to these guys. And that one popped easily open. Actually, this one is very pretty and would match that other one somewhat. A little bit more lavender than that last one, but it's definitely a very big peachy one, peachy rose color. It's darker than the first, that one that we just opened. Size wise, not quite as big. 7.47. I've got a big old box in my face, so I can't quite see where I'm aiming my camera. There you go. You can see the color difference. That's the one we just opened, and that's the one I, I say just opened. That's the one we opened right before this one. That's the one I just opened, like right now. You can see the one is definitely darker than the other, but they're all pretty. All three of those are pretty. Look at how pretty they are together. It's almost like a, a red, orange, yellow kind of effect. I'm trying to hurry. I promise I don't want to keep you guys from your evening. Everybody has things to do, places to go. Oh my goodness, guys, check this out. I'm going to get it right up there in the camera. Look at that gorgeous neon pink. How crazy is that? Gorgeous, gorgeous pearl. Crazy, crazy, hot pink, neon pink, beautiful pearl. This would be a really pretty one to put in your... Uh, like the ribbon necklace, the, the awareness ribbon. 
Look at that guy. 7.29. Look at how bright that is against the black. That is a bright, bright, super bright pink. I'm going to put it in with these guys and it's just going to stand out so much because he's so obviously different than the rest of them. Look how crazy bright that is. It is definitely as neon here as it is in that camera. That is crazy. Beautiful, beautiful pearl. Alrighty guys, six more. Five in the bowl, the one in the hand. Guys, there's a set of twins in there. Beautiful, beautiful, large set of twins. These look a lot like that really light peach that we just opened. Matter of fact, they are a lot like that light, light peach we just opened. Just maybe a tad more pink. Let me hold them both up together for you. They look fairly white there. I promise you they're not white. They're very, very light pink. Size-wise, that first one is 7.13. There we go. You can kind of see that color now. It's not in my hand. 7.13. And our second one. Close in size, 7.21. Very close in color. There you go, in the bowl, check them out. These are the ones we I just opened, the twins right here. And then there's that really light peach color one we opened earlier. Just a tad different in shade. The one is definitely a little more orange. But those little light pink twins back there are really pretty. What a pretty set of pearls. That neon pink really stands out, guys. This one is a bright white, real silvery white, but it is definitely white. And you know, I say it's white, but it's got this crazy greenish colored overtone. I didn't see it until I put it on the black towel to clean it, but it's got a beautiful, almost really like the lightest green imaginable. Really pretty. 7.41. It's kind of hard to see that green. I would have bet money on that being a white while it was still in that dirty oyster. But it's definitely got a green color to it. And it's not just my green screen reflecting it. See it? See that really pale? I would say pistachio, but it's it's so much lighter than even a pistachio color. It is gorgeous. Really, really pretty pretty light green. I don't know that I've ever seen a white with that light green sheen like that before. Beautiful, beautiful pearl. It's so very, very subtle in its green color. Amazingly beautiful pearl. Super, super subtle on that green. You got to look at it a couple times to really catch the green color. And even in person, it, it, it's so pale, you don't see it right off the bat. Alrighty, guys. Four left, one in my hand, three in the bowl. Another big, fat, meaty one. There's just one in this one. I'm trying to work it to the surface. I'll just do that right in front of you so you can see it a little better. It's right there. It just doesn't want to come out. There it is. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, dark, golden, it's like a golden rose. It's got a hint of rose to it, but it's very, very golden in color. Very pretty pearl. This one has a serious depth of shine as well, with a lot of almost a greenish overtone. Out in the sun, this pearl is going to look amazing. As much as I liked that blue violet, this one actually may become my favorite of the night because it's so unique. There we go. 7.16, I believe. Yeah. 7.16. Look at that amazing color. On your screen, it probably looks a little more red than it really is. I cannot begin to describe that beautiful gold color. 
It's gorgeous. Let's see if we can show it off in that salt for you. It's like this, this gorgeous golden color with just a hint of a rose tone to it. Very, very pretty pearl. Absolutely gorgeous. And I don't see colors like that one very often, so it's, it's actually kind of got me stumped as to what pendant I would think that would be perfect in, because it's so pretty. You'd want to put it in something that's going to show it off where everybody could see it. And it's another one of those light, light yellow guys. This one is significantly smaller than that last guy. A lot smaller. 6.38, 6.39, it's kind of fluttering between the two. Really pretty light yellow. It's a, almost a little bit darker. I'm going to put it over there by the other yellow just so you can see the size difference and a little bit of color difference. It is definitely darker than that first one. A little more banana and a little less lemon. Let's see if it'll focus on that for you. Beautiful pearl. It's just a little smaller. Nothing wrong with the smaller guys, though. They look really pretty with other smaller pearls. Sometimes they fit certain pendants better. There we go. There we got a good focus. You can see that light one just behind it off to its side and how dark that smaller one is. Beautiful. Super pretty. Two left guys. One is in my hand. The last one's in the bowl. Then I'm going to let you guys go home, go sleep, go do whatever it is you're doing. I don't know how late it is where you guys are, but it's starting to get a little later here. Alrighty guys, I don't like to pull them out when I can spot off right off the bat what color they are. Look at that gorgeous bright blue. He's pretty obvious what color he is in there. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Another good sized blue. I don't think he's going to be as large as that first one earlier. But he's pretty big. Almost the same shade. 7.04. Look at that bright color. Amazing blue. Those amazing blues are just gorgeous. I'm going to put him kind of up here with that other one. They actually do kind of match quite well. Look at those gorgeous blue ones. That newest one is right there in the front for you. Beautiful blue pearls. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Super shiny ones. All right, guys, this is my last one of the night. This one's also got a lot of seaweed on it. It's also got a lot of water in it. Yuck. Any guesses before I open it what color we're going to get? Oh, it's pretty, guys. It's very pretty. It's one of those gorgeous, gorgeous light lavenders. I say light. It's actually pretty dark. Check him out. Looks a lot like those ones we had on our very first oyster for Nikki Marie. I love saying your name. Look at that guy. Super cool. Very shiny. It doesn't want to focus on it for you. All right, let's get it cleaned off, get it shown up, and then I can let you guys go. Next week, we will have a live event on Thursday, and with, with all intents and purposes, it should be me. Uh, as far as I know, I'm scheduled off. Beautiful 7.06. Let's put that guy over here in that other salt going to be between that light light lavender or that light light green and that funny gold it's right in the middle see that right there super lavender having him right next to that green now you can see the green color too look at that crazy light green there you go guys beautiful set of amazing pearls this evening kind of hard to see them all i'll take a picture of them we'll get them posted on the facebook page so that you can see them all together um, just some of the amazing, beautiful pearls that you could get when you order your pendants. Uh, don't forget, when you order a pendant, that includes your chain. It also includes an oyster that we can either open online for you guys, like we did with Nikki, or one that we can send home to you guys where you can open it at home. Just remember, they do smell funny. Uh, you definitely want to have a towel down so you don't get it all over your beautiful furniture. And uh, I would keep a little bowl of some uh, water there to wash off your pearls. 
If you need assistance in remembering how to open your oyster without damaging your pearl, make sure you go back to some of our older videos. We've step by step through it, I believe two weeks ago, definitely several weeks ago, we, we step by step how to open an oyster, how to hold it, how to position it, where to you know break the top off, how to cut into it, how far to cut in. And again, guys, you're not cutting in very far. It's just a little bit to get to that muscle right there on the side. Um, don't ever root around with the knife through the meat to uh, catch that pearl out of there. Just use your fingers. I know it's gross, but you're going to get them gross anyway. It's super easy to wash them with soap and water. Antibacterial soap works really good to get the smell off your hands. Um, anyway, that is everything I have for you tonight. We'll be back next week. Winners, if you have any questions on how to use those uh, store credits, let us know. We'll be glad to walk you through it. Those of you who didn't necessarily win on those three people that we announced, Definitely check your message boxes because we sent you a, a coupon code in case there's something you really, really like. It's a pretty decent sale that we've offered you guys. Um, we do thank you guys for your opinions that you posted on that, that contest entry. And I think that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to watch for Peter Stone. We'll get that four-leaf clover up as soon as possible. And we will make the announcement when the nonprofit stuff is ready to go. I apologize. My nose is suddenly itchy. It's pollen season here in Kentucky. So um, anyway, guys, have a great night. We'll get these photos of these oysters and these pearls up for you guys, and we will see you guys next week. Have a good night, guys. Apologize, Periscope. Periscope, if you're still watching, again, we're so sorry about the whole comment thing not working very well. We will try to get to you guys and get some answers for you when we can. I'm not sure why they just will not let us reply to you guys, but if you're still watching, we do apologize, and we will get that addressed and hopefully back online for next week's show. Again, guys, have a great night, and we will see you next